Mama, 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 mama. Why do I feel the need to bathe? <laughs> so how was it, Blanche? Oh, you might as well ask me to describe the glory of the great smoky mountains as they rise from the mist of the Carolina dawn. They went to a sleazy motel. <laughs> Are the colors of the monarch butterfly spreading its wings as it emerges from the miracle of the cocoon. She got him to pay for half the room. <laughs> Are the sturdy cypress reaching heavenward, tall and mighty and proud? That one, I think, is pretty self-explanatory. You look gorgeous. Oh, well, really? Yeah. Goodness, I didn't even have time to put on my makeup. <laughs> Would you mind waiting out in the van, Dirk? I'll be with you in just a minute. Sure. <laughs> I do believe the man said gorgeous. I'm going to live forever. Uh, not outside of an institution. <laughs> we don't want to keep our dates waiting. Wait, Blanche, honey, aren't you forgetting something? Oh, no, I never wear underwear. <laughs> so, Dorothy, do you have a date tonight? <laughs> Rose, I mean, that's an awfully personal question. Do Yes! <laughs> Good God. Dorothy Zbornak has a date on a Saturday night and Blanche Debro does not? That sounds like an idea for a Stephen King book. <laughs> Listen, check with me later about the weekend. I, I just want to be sure I'm ready and that it's right. I'll give you a ring. I can't accept jewelry. <laughs> I mean, I'll call you soon. I mean, I'll call you Rose soon. <laughs> and the phone will ring. This is my first date. You mean... <laughs> your first date ever? That's right. I've never been with a woman. Well, not in the biblical sense. You're a virgin? A virgin. Oh, God. Brings out the artist in me. Ah, oh, Dorothy, you're home. Well, doesn't anyone want to hear how my date turned out? Oh, honey, was it just terrible? Oh, sweetheart, you can tell us. It was wonderful. Really? Where is Dr. Marvelous? What kind of man doesn't walk a girl to the door? One who's too exhausted to walk. <laughs> It was real. If I'd had the money, I could have been living in a swinging condo instead of with... I better not say anything till I've had my coffee. A slut and a moron. Let's go. Come on, Blanche, let's go. Blanche, wake up. My wife will be home any minute. I didn't steal your date. Ted told me that the two of you had absolutely nothing in common. Well, obviously. He's dull, boring, and has dubious taste, to say the least. <laughs> that is some schoolgirl attempt to get my goat. You're wasting your breath. I'm simply questioning how any man could possibly choose you over me. It's not working, Blanche. <laughs> I suppose there could be some exceptions. Convicts who haven't seen a woman in 25 years. <laughs> It's still not working, you bimbo. I know if he got to know me, he'd like me. Boy, I got to know you. I don't like you. You just say that. Repeatedly. <laughs> oh, hello, Sophia. Hello, Eddie. Woody, I never noticed that beauty mark on your neck. What beauty mark? That one. <laughs> I waited up for you until 2 in the morning, and you still weren't home. Oh, yeah, Gertie and I and some of the girls went to Wolfie's to pick up guys. I called Wolfie's at 11. You weren't there. Guess who got lucky? Oh, God. You can't come in here. This house has been quarantined. We all have a... Quick, Rose, give me a deadly disease. Oh, I'm sorry, Blanche, I don't have a deadly disease. <laughs> How about that guy you dated last summer? Don't you remember? The one who played uh, Goofy at Disney World? I remember the passion, yes. 
Do you remember why it didn't work out? It just didn't. Right, but why not? I don't want to talk about it. Oh, Rose, honey, there's nothing to be ashamed of. He took off the goofy head. <laughs> going to shoot this commercial? Well, we discussed many exotic uh, locations and we settled on right here. Oh, now, hold on here. I don't want a TV crew coming in here, messing up my kitchen, setting up all that video equipment. Well, how about shooting it in your bedroom, Blanche? The equipment's already set up there. Dorothy, Dorothy, now remember, be nice to him. He hasn't had sex in over a year. <laughs> <laughs> Look who I'm talking to. She threw you out, didn't she? She changed the locks and everything. <laughs> I mean, she even tossed all my clothes out the window. You can't imagine what it's like searching for your underwear in the back seat of a convertible. Tell me about it. <laughs> I do love the rain, so it reminds me of my first kiss. Uh, your first kiss was in the rain. No, it was in the shower. <laughs> Dorothy, don't tell me you have been at those books all night. Well, that, that's just downright unhealthy. Yeah, please, I am exhausted, but I have to keep going. If I get through the trial run, I'm on the show. Besides, in college, we used to pull all-nighters all the time. Oh, that sounds so hard. Thank God I was pretty. <laughs> We're a family here. Well, not the conventional one, but we love each other and... Excuse me, Snoop? Liar. Rhino? Lizard. <laughs> It's real love, Mr. Benson. Well, at least I stood up for my principles. This is the proudest I've been of you in my whole life. Thanks, Ma. Can you believe it? My whole life, and this is the proudest I've ever been. Oh, look at this one. Scrunched up little frown, kind of reminds me of my mother. You're absolutely right, Dorothy. And I'll tell you something else. A mother sometimes needs her children even more. Thank you, Ma. That's very sweet. Give me $20. No. <laughs> when I was a teenager, I was gorgeous. Eyes as deep and black as ripe olives. Skin as smooth and creamy as fresh butter. Hair flaming red like a rich marinara sauce. Ma, that's not you. That's your lasagna recipe. <laughs> ah, shut up. Oh, why can't I ever attract men like that? You can, Dorothy. Oh, Ma, Ma, you really think so? Of course not, but you think I'm gonna tell you that? I'm your mother. Well, Ma, what do you think? Hmm? Pussycat, you look sensational. You really think so, Ma? I really think so. I've never seen you look so beautiful. Oh, thanks, Ma. Who's the designer? He deserves a Nobel Prize for miracles. <laughs> If you will excuse me, Becky and I are having breakfast on the lanai. We're still bonding. <laughs> Dorothy, how come we never bond? We're from before bonding and quality time. <laughs> We're from when people stayed together because they had no choice. I guess we should get back to work. Oh, I suppose so, but you know, a big meal always makes me so sleepy. <laughs> Is that why you usually go right to bed after a date buys your dinner? <laughs> said that. You did. I have never seen Kate so upset, and I am a wreck myself. I feel like this whole thing has happened to me, like I'm the one who had my guts wrenched out and my heart stomped on. <laughs> Thank you for all your support. Blanche, I need to talk to you privately. Okay. There's this person, someone I've known for quite a while, and lately there seems to be this attraction developing, uh, an attraction I've been trying to deny. Blanche, what are you doing? <laughs> it's a curse. <laughs> My beauty's always been a curse. I'm sorry, Dorothy, but... Like the fatal blossom of the graceful Jimson weed, I entice with my fragrance but can provide no succor. I'm talking about Stanley, you idiot. Get out of here. Stan has the hearts for me. For me, not you, fatal blossom, for me. 
Dorothy will never tell her. Tell her what? The secret that I don't know. Uh -huh.